want to do right now is just take few, a few of the biggest guns in this game of this entire weekend and let you hear from them right here on the microphone. And by the way, you're not missing out on that side. Mark Schrader is going to have a few over there. Uh, we're fixing to do a little uh, Q&A with uh, some of these uh, double down uh, fans, you know, uh, just I'm sure they've got some questions on their mind and uh, well hopefully uh, Jimmy Creighton and myself can answer some of those questions for them. Let me run him down here, the former world freestyle champion from Corpus Christi, Texas. Make some noise for Lupe Sosa, El Toro Loco. <laughs> 2004 Monster Jam Freestyle World Champion. You know, I know we've been seeing you, you come out, and when you come out, I know you love when the fans get up and give them that little horn sign, but I've been seeing all these El Toro hats and all the t-shirts. You got some of the coolest merchandise in the game, buddy. Oh, that's right. You know, uh, uh, when I got into this and I brought on this El Toro truck, there was one thing in mind. I was gonna make it just as big and just as powerful as the Gravedigger team, and uh, this season, uh, we actually ran three El Toros in one weekend, and uh, we are going to get big, and we are a dominant force now. Well, he's one of the world champs trying to get another title. How about giving up one more time for Lupe Sosa, El Toro Loco? The cool part about Double Down is not only the pit party, but seeing the fans, we do a Q&A. Took the past champs, got us out here, got up in the stands, both sides of the stadium. Got to answer some questions, got to talk to the fans, give them a little bit, mix it up. You know, give it more of bringing home personal feeling with these guys. I got some of my closest friends here this weekend. For the first time ever, they're over here. You guys got some of the greatest seats in the house tonight, don't you? Yeah? Excellent. Well, I'm going to show you something right now. We got Mr. Excitement himself. Jimmy, roll over Kohler from Columbus, Michigan. Put it together, hands in the air, Jimmy Kohler. We've had a great friendship for many, many years. However, I have never been a world finals champion. This guy here was the freestyle champion in 2003. There's no doubt, Mark. We're really good friends. You're a champion in my book, dude. All these monster drivers. The guys out in the field there doing the pit party that aren't in this event, they all rock to me. You fans rock. We're going to get wild tonight, aren't we? So get a load of this, you guys. Jimmy was late by about five minutes getting up here. Just now, the reason he was late, he broke an axle on the truck, unexpectedly did not think that it was broken from last night. We did a little practice, Jimmy, and probably a result of last night and rolling over. You already got it fixed, you tell me. Yeah, my guys, I got probably one of the best crews out there, you know, and these guys are kicking it. I was pulling back from the pit party to get in the pit roll, and it spit out a planetary, which was because of the broken axle shaft from last night that we didn't see. So I think maybe the monster truck gods are watching out for me because it's better to see it back there than out here in qualifying. So we'll be 100%, yeah! Excellent, Jimmy, we wish you the best of luck. Awesome job in the past years. You're a past champion. I expect to see great things this weekend out of you as well as everybody else, but good luck, my friend. Thanks, we're hoping it's 2008 Avenger, yeah! Double Down is just it's so awesome. They, these people have been standing out here in the sun, uh, getting autographs all day, and they've been listening to some of the drivers uh, talk talk a little bit about uh, you know what what Monster Jam means to them and and how much the fans mean to them. And uh, the, the the past champions haven't we haven't spoke yet, so uh, this is their first time to to hear from us. As we bring over to the microphone the 2005 World Freestyle Champion, Jimmy Creighton, Bounty Hunter. You know, you guys are great. Give yourselves a round of applause. We were, you know, this is your weekend. And uh, we're, we're here, and we're going we're gonna to blow or go, whichever comes first. I know when you come out and you see these fans rising up to their feet, the, what, what does that do to you? I mean, does it put goosebumps on you? 
Well, you know, it, the, whole, the whole event does. I mean, you know, ever since, since we got here, you know, it, it's a lot of work, no doubt about it. But, you know, we keep getting closer and closer and closer, you know. Now it's time to, to make it happen, you know. So, you know, it's, we're, what, an hour away? We're going to be blowing down through here doing about 70 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, uh, even watch, you know, the, if you were here last night, then these trucks are fast. And everybody's just really close, and it's anybody's game. But you know, bounty hunters gonna come out on top. Man, it's Las Vegas. It's a qualifying night out here. We got the best fans in the world out here doing a double down. We just did a little interview before the show. You know, um, tell them what we're gonna have to do, what we have planned, how last night went, and uh, trying to get these fans pumped up and get ourselves pumped up. And man, the excitement here is unbelievable. This place is great. This place is gonna rock tonight. But right now, you guys, check this out. Not too far back in the past, I'm talking about last year. Our 2007 racing champion, Mr. John C. Suck in Batman! This is a little reminiscent of last year, I believe, when John won the racing championship. He was over on this side, up in the stands, talking to his fans. We're going to go out here and we did last year, one round at a time, one race at a time, and a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill, and we're going to put that thing in the final round again. John, you touched on something really, really important. You know, last year, I was back doing the pit reporting. This year, we're out front up on the TV set. You and I spoke three rounds last year back in the hot pit zone before you went to the final round. And we talked about one round at a time, nice and smooth, nice and consistent. Still the plan. It's been the plan all year since then. Obviously, the plan now. It worked last year. You do believe it's going to work again. Oh, without a doubt, you know, Vegas is the best of the best. We get the best trucks back there, the best drivers, and we get the best fans in the world here watching us. We're going to do what you did. I mean, this track is so awesome. It's so fast. It's, it's mental. What did you feel about the track? Did the truck feel fast? It felt extremely fast. You know, it's, uh, if you're watching NASCAR, you hear the guys talking all the time. If it's loose, it's fast. That's how it was, man. This track was so fast going down through there. Uh, the truck was a little squirrely going down through, and uh, trying to get that turn down here was nice and tight. I mean, it, it's going to be a fast track. I think we're going to break some records tonight. We're about to have a question and answer session with the drivers. You know, it's an awesome little time. The fans get to ask their own little questions, and we'll respond to it. It's cool. 24. The 24 best are back in those pits ready to go to war, and they've all got their own stories, but there's only one of them who can say he is a seven-time world champion, Tom Mintz, Maximum Destruction! And you come out and it's a standing O, you gotta love these Monster Jam fans here today. Man, I met a lot of them today. I met a lot of them all year. It's really cool because they go to their hometown show and they all want to take it one step further. So they come to Las Vegas, baby. They want to go to the big show. They're here this weekend. It's all for them. And I can't make a whole lot of predictions, but I, there's one thing I know for sure, Scott. Come Sunday morning, maximum destruction will be in a lot of different pieces. <laughs> that's a, and that's a promise I know he's going to keep. We're all dedicating it all to Max D. We're going to do what we can. Kevin Lewis, Chuck Warner. All the guys back at the shop been working so hard, and we're going to lay it all out here, you know. See what we can do tonight, see if we can put down a fast one. I know there's only one guy here that knows how to go 70 mile an hour down this track, and you're talking to him. So everybody else is just talk. Right, now this is, this night is about racing and qualifying, but i got to ask you one more time. I know we're not supposed to turn our back to the camera, but turn with me for a minute. What do you think of this triple out there? Hey. Looks like I designed it, that's all I can tell you, because I'm really excited about it. I don't know if I can make it, but I do know this much. I'm going to try. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is we're doing Q&A, doing it with the Double Down fans. This is a part of their package. They ask us a bunch of questions about Monster Truck and their career, anything they want to, and we talk live to the audience right now. And um, actually, it's a part of their package. This is what you get when you get to Double Down, man, so it's pretty cool. Well, apparently they're looking to save my voice. We're looking at the three-time world champion, the icon himself, the grandfather of freestyle. And my buddy Dennis Anderson, I don't know how I got this interview, my friend. Danny, I tell you what, man, you have been cranking all year long. Last year you came out here, you hadn't been in the truck for almost the entire season, came out here and look at what you've done. This year, you are ready to go. That's all the talk everywhere. Hey, no doubt. First off, I want to welcome everybody to one of the most best 
motorsports events in the world is going to be right here in Las Vegas. You're going to see a start of it tonight. And Saturday night, we're going to continue on with racing, freestyle. And we will guarantee, man, we are the best show in town. We're the best show in the world. And y'all going to see that right here. I'm here for a double down. I'm here for a clean sweep. And I say this every year. I have to have this positive attitude. If I don't, I will never win again. So I am here to win this whole thing in a clean sweep. And if I could pull off a double down tonight, that would be awesome. But here's one thing to keep in mind. The fastest qualifier, I've been here nine years. The fastest qualifier has never won the race here. So, you know, you can look at that both ways. This is Vegas. It's a big gamble, man. We'll just watch it happen. All I can say is, may the best man win. One of the best men you've ever seen in Monster Jam history, the icon himself, Dennis Anderson in Grave Digger.